unboxing video for you. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. I'm sure you already know from the title, this is the Astros wireless gaming headset. Very nice, I like. I think I like. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, look at that. We'll go smallest, smallest to largest. So this is the uh, Astros can tag set, which I just got the the basic one. It just says Astros on it. And mm -hmm. this is the mix amp. So I already have a wired mix amp. But this is the wireless version of the mix amp. And they're boxing. Oh, they have they have such cool boxing. Oh that was angels singing. Very cool. So just hold it up. Hey. Cats. Oh, everything's gonna fall out of there. But here is the mix amp, got optical in, optical out, and two USB ports. I'll take the condom off. And just a power button and a headset on top. Very pretty, very nice. And, and then this is on the other end, so you could take any wired gaming headset, and then this is the receiver, this is the transmitter. You just hook this side up. To the Xbox to the optical in and then you hook this side up to your headset and it's got the chat for the controller and the headset with the USB little uh, mini USB there very cool and what else do we have in here I have no idea what this is looks like it clips on here I guess you I guess you can clip this on like a beeper <laughs> probably a lot of you guys are like what is a beeper and USB cable and power cord and an optical cable. Cool, cool. And here, this is the rechargeable battery pack, which is, I'm told, a necessity because this thing will eat up batteries pretty quick. And I can't open it. There we go. So it comes with a little USB to mini USB. And I think that's for this. Let's see if we can open it without breaking it. Probably not. Take the clip off. There we go. So there's a, it'll take standard AAA batteries, but I guess it eats them very quickly so this pops out and then you could just stick the battery pack in I guess like that that seems to go in there Do I have power yes I have power so that is how it goes in and then put the little case back on There, I made that look a little more complicated than it probably actually is. All right, moving on, we have the big boy, the grand finale, more boxes. I get so many boxes. If I was homeless, I would have a, a cardboard mansion. Very pretty boxing once again, 2011 edition. Oh, oh, that's that's so nice for the red lining. Mmm, it smells good. Mmm, it's mmm. Oh, I think you can get high off this case. Yep. <laughs> it smells like I don't know. It's, it's addicting. I'm gonna be addicted. I'm gonna be a an Astros headset case sniffing addict. Ah, oh, that's good. All right. 
So here is the headset. Cool. Don't know what that is. I guess these are little. Oh, there's the mic. So let me put my inserts on. Take the condom off. And oh, they're magnetic. Look at that. And so there's one with a hole and then two without a hole. So if you didn't want to put a mic on, you could cover up the hole. And I usually have my mic on the left for no particular reason. Where did the mic go? Michael, here you are. Nice. Uh, I think I'm put, supposed to put these foam pads. Uh, take the mic off. Little foam pads probably uh, do something. Probably really important. Foamy. It might keep it from vibrating. But it looks... Alright, let me put the foam pad on the, this. And then snap it on. Alright. Nice. One more. Bear with me. I'm getting ready to hop online and, and play. So I actually want to prepare them properly. It's tricky, tricky getting them little foamies in right. All right, close enough. Looks, looks good. And let me have couple different adapters. One's for PC, I could tell already. And this one looks like it's for Xbox. And there's an adapter, the big, ancient, huge style. I don't, I don't see too many new devices with the quarter, quarter inch jack, usually eighth inch. I think that's right. So pretty long cable, and this connects to here, and then this plugs in here, and then you'll have the chat cable there. Let me try them on. Here is the moment we've all been waiting for, and they, they feel good. It's a little like. It's kind of plasticky. It's plastic. I would, I would have liked it to have been made out of a little different material than that. Well, that feels nice. It's, it's blocked out a lot of sound. It doesn't put a lot of pressure on my ears. And even my larger than average size ears fit in the ear holes. So sometimes I get uh, headsets that have small ear openings and like they'll just press on my ears. And that makes Wicked Shrapnel sad. So I'm gonna play with this for a while. And that's what she said. And then I will report back to you and let you know how I like them and how they compare to what I'm currently using, the HPX, and how they compare to the PX5, which I had before, but I've already returned, and not because they were bad, they were good. I just had some incompatibilities with my operating systems where I was trying to configure it for presets. But they were still, they were a good headset, but I didn't feel I was using them to full potential and I was having problems with the software, so I just returned them. So I will try these out and I will give my final verdict very soon, probably next week sometime. All right, stupid camera cut me off, but this is a spliced together piece of film. But I was just gonna say, I was gonna give my review next week, and I'll also have the review 
of the iPad and the Galaxy Tab, and I will do a comparison on how I like them. I've been using the Galaxy Tab a lot just to familiarize myself with the Android OS. And hopefully they stop making cool things so I can stop buying it. But thank you MasterCard and Visa. I would like to thank you, thank you both if you guys are watching. I appreciate it. Um, I'll, I'll be paying you very soon for all this stuff. So <laughs> take it easy guys. I'll, let me show you my shirt if you didn't read the whole thing. Anyone could be cool, but awesome takes practice. <laughs> I got a JCPenney. All right. Take it easy.